Welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of some of the top technology news stories from across the globe. This month we bring you the latest on Huawei's investigation, Facebook's latest earnings in the wake of the Cambridge Analytica scandal, and much more. For this episode's Hot Topics interview, we spoke to EY's Yanis Mellis about how customer expectations are evolving in line with digital technology. First though, here are your top international headlines. The US Justice Department has joined two other agencies probing Huawei for possible violations of sanctions banning sales to Iran. According to people familiar with the matter, agents from the FBI have been looking into transactions completed by the China-based mobile and telecoms giant. The criminal inquiry is thought to have grown out of an earlier sanctions violation probe that led to penalties against ZTE Corp, another Chinese tech firm. In other news, the European Union's antitrust chief is looking at whether internet services are essential to modern life in the same way as telecom suppliers and electricity grids. The questions, which could prove game-changing for tech giants such as Google or Facebook, is an attempt by the EU officials to understand whether the internet is, and I quote, approaching something that we would call an essential facility. If Google's search engine or Facebook social network were declared essential facilities, this would expand the boundaries of antitrust enforcement across Europe. Facebook's quarterly sales increased by almost 50% in the social media giant's first results since the Cambridge Analytica scandal emerged. The company said revenues rose to $11.9 billion during the first three months of the year, compared to $8 billion previously. First quarter profits also grew, reaching $4.9 billion compared to $3 billion last year. In the meantime, MPs have urged Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg to speak to them after evidence given by the firm's CTO was deemed unsatisfactory. That's it for our top global tech news roundup, but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topic interview. We spoke with EY's Yanis Mellis about how customer expectations are evolving in line with digital technology. Hi Yanis, thank you very much for joining us today. So you're here to talk to us about customer experience. So how are customers' expectations evolving in line with digital technology? There's a few things that we consider uh, when we think about customer experience. The first one is this concept of consumer-grade experiences, the fact that people will compare experiences across providers within different contexts and apply that level of expectation in any context. Mm -hmm. So the idea that whether that is a consumer context or a business user context has meshed together and people will apply the same expectations to both. The second thing is personalization and how it gets informed by data privacy. So there is certainly an expectation that experiences will be targeted and tailored, but uh, how that gets delivered and uh, how do you share and surface data uh, with the customer also needs to happen in a way that constitutes fair exchange of value and comes across a non-intrusive, non-creepy. The last thing is this concept of platforms. Uh, it's, uh, it means a lot of things to a lot of people, mm -hmm. but ultimately if we define platform as a, a basically a customer domain where specific activity happens within that domain, then uh, we see the emergence of those across a number of spaces and it creates a different imperative for customer experiences. For example, 65% of news consumptions uh, happens in aggregation sites rather than the original content providers. Um, you have uh, business uh, providers trying to own certain spaces of marketing, of sales and again create that platform where their own services as well as third party services are coming together. And again, that is an experience point because it is driven by the fact that customers would want to have a set of use cases, a set of experiences being possible and weave together in, a, in the same space. So from your perspective, um, what challenges are entrepreneurs in the space facing when it comes to integrating a good customer experience? We spend a lot of time talking to our clients about their strategic agenda. Three years ago was the first time that customer experience uh, was the most quoted uh, top strategic agenda item for C-level uh, clients. And this year, business model innovation and customer experience went head to head as top on their strategic agenda. So the challenges that our clients are facing are A, how do they drive growth? 
um, how do they use customer experience as a differentiator, but ultimately how do, does that remain connected with the business model and the value that they're looking to drive in the market and obviously uh, for their customers as well. And on that note, how can TMT companies create a digital integrated customer experience? I think there's a few things that we believe need to come together. Um, the first one is purpose. Just being really crisp about what is the purpose of a specific TMT provider uh, that energizes both their customers as well as their employees. The second thing is being business outcome focused, and making sure that you're actually solving a specific problem and it has a value that is demonstrable within a defined uh, time frame. The third one is agility, potentially a, an overused term but certainly something that all of our clients think about when they consider how do they make their organizations operate at a faster pace and work across silos. Uh, and in situations where organizations are very large and unwieldy, what does it take to incubate that way of working within that environment? Um, the fourth is digital as an enabler rather than the end goal. I think there's a lot of overuse of that word. We believe that digital informs everything. It's not a product, it's not a channel in itself. It is a, a means by which you uh, create uh, interfaces, experiences, touch points that talk to each other and work across different journeys, across different touch points, uh, but also the source of data and intelligence that allows you to surface treatments and produce experiences uh, in a way that is non-intrusive and, and uh, value-adding for the customer. A lot of food for thought there. Thank you very much for your time, Yanis. Thank you. That's all for this episode. For more top global tech news, head over to www.uktech.news.